What's going on guys? My name is Adam, I am a super swan, and welcome to episode 2 of the FM19 Liverpool beta save, and we've arrived at the first game of the season. We were going to show off the pre-season games, but I thought, seeing as we're going to have a new sign-in and we're not going to have the full team out, I didn't really bother to show it really but looking at the schedule we had a bunch of greens we haven't conceded a goal in all of pre-season so hopefully this is going to set us up well for our first game against Chelsea the transfer window has closed and we have a blockbuster signing to show you and his name is Rafael Varane. We have signed him from Real Madrid for 65 mil, going up to 73. And he is going to partner Virgil van Dijk up front for us. Up front? Up front. He's going to partner van Dijk up front for us. He's going to be at the back with us with van Dijk. And he's going to be the perfect foil to van Dijk. So he's going to be the, the central defender matching up with Van Dyke's ball playing defender. We might even swap them round. We have two world class centre backs in our team. So the games we are gonna play today are gonna be Chelsea away from home and Wolves in the Premier League. And we'll go from there. We'll see how we get on. So it's gonna be our first proper chance to implement the tactics that we have put over the preseason. So those have been the first games of the season. Tottenham beating United 3-0 on the opening day. Is Mourinho going to be out of Manchester United this season? Newcastle beating Everton? Not too bad. Fulham beating West Ham and Cardiff winning as well. So a few upsets already happening in the Premier League. But this is going to be the lineup, and this is going to be the tactic for the Chelsea game. We've got Becker in goal. Well, well he, Alisson, we've got Alisson in goal. Alisson in goal. Trent, Van Dijk, Varane and Robertson at the back. Fabinho in that ball in midfielder role. Keita and Henderson in the middle. Salah's the inside forward cutting in. Mane on the wing to cross into the box. And Roberto Firmino as the deep lying forward to help with the attacks. So that's going to be the team that we're going to put out today. Is that going to be enough to overcome Chelsea. You've also got a new manager in charge in Sarri. In real life, Chelsea have been impressing. So we need to make sure we get the job done. So they're playing a very similar formation to us with a DM. Obviously, they've watched the first episode so they know what we're about. I am clad in my retro, I don't know if you can see, crown paints Liverpool shirt. We are representing. Can we get the job done? That is the question. So the first team talk, we're going to give a passionate, go out there, no, give the fans what they want, it doesn't really help. So we're going to say, go out there and impress me, and and nobody really pays attention. But we're going to go with the old faithful, I have faith in you, that, norm, that normally does get them up, there we go, see, they're getting hyped up now, they're getting hyped up for it. So we're going to end the team talk. We're going into the kickoff, and this is going to be the first game of the FM19 beta save that we show. The first game on Football Manager 2019 altogether. Let's make sure we get our highlights all set up correctly. And we'll get the game underway. Can we get an early goal? Well, not, not in that highlight we can't anyway. So, I'm like, it's all very smooth. It's all very sort of dynamic. But Robertson from left back. Beats his man. Can he cross it in? He can. Whips it in for Mane. Just over the bar from Sadio Mane. The man who the, the press said was going to leave. But we didn't have any bids for him. So he stayed. But the only outs we had were... I think it was Markovic went out and Origi went out. We sold them two for about 15 mil combined. So those are the only outs we have. But Chelsea are building from the back. Kante to Hazard. Morata is on the ball. Can we close him down? Oh, Robertson does intercept. Henderson to Keita. Keita loses the ball to Pedro. What's he going to do? Kante has a shot from outside the box. It hits the crossbar. And N'Golo Kante, the, the engine of Chelsea's team, is the closest so far to break the deadlock. And we do clear the corner, but goes far as the hazard. Van Dijk, cool as you like, keeps it down. And we do end the highlight there. We're going to give a shout. We're going to shout on encourage to try and get the team hyped for this. 
But 60 minutes win away from home. We're doing not too bad. But Mane on the ball now. Cut, tries to cut inside. Oh, it's a slide tackle from him. Oh, that was a rough looking slide. But he managed to get away with it. Jorginho, Henderson intercepts. Salah's there. Can he beat any his men? Dribbles past one. Gets it to Keita. Some lovely play. And Mane's free. And he shoots it wide. That was a bit of an opportunity from us there. Robertson again on that left-hand side causing problems. Fabinho plays it back to Van Dijk with his partner Varane there. But Salah's going to pick up the ball. Can he cross it in? Ooh, he hits the bar. Was that a cross or a shot? We may never know. But Chelsea are a bit focused. We're going to shout out to get creative. We're keeping the possession. We're, we're keeping the possession. That's good. Away from home against Chelsea. And we are keeping the possession. But Fabinho's going to find Robertson. Robertson's been key today. He's been involved in all the chances. Whips one in. David Luiz clears. But Salah's going to pick it up. Oh, it's a lovely shot deflected. And that is the first goal of the beta save. And it had to be him, didn't it? Mo Salah with the goal. It is deflected. But we will take it. Robertson whips it in. David Luiz clears as far as Henderson. Heads it down to Salah. Has a shot. Comes off the defender. And it goes in the net. And it slows down as well. That's cool. So when I zoom in on the on the goals, it's going to look even better. Football Manager 19 is helping me provide good editing content to you guys. And that sentence didn't make sense. But Mo Salah. Tries to find Firmino. He does. Back to Salah. Cups in size. He's going to have a shot. He does. It's over the bar. And we have looked like the better team out there today. Up against Chelsea. We've always looked fired up by the feedback. So, Sarri seems to be shouting out orders from the touchline. As they do seem fired up. But we are looking to go into half time. We are 1-0 up against Chelsea. We've had 10 shots. 2 on target. And we've maintained the possession. Henderson's lost possession more than any, any other player. Do it for the fans. The, te the team are happy with that. We're going to tell them we have faith in them. Give them the old, you know, the old, I have faith in you hype. We'll end the team talk there. Do we need to make any changes to the tactics? What's Henderson on? Henderson's on a 6.8. For me, it's on a 6.3. Oh, he's not doing very well as a deep line forward. We might make him a complete forward. We'll mix things up a bit. Just to see if that'll improve his rating. If not, we do have Daniel Sturridge on the bench. To make the difference. But we're going into the second half. And we are 1-0 up. Trent on the ball. Bobby Firmino. Back in his complete forward position. Back to Trent. Fabinho to Naby Keita. Love keeping the ball. Deflected. Robert Firmino's in the box. Oh, I just called him Robert Fabinho. That's a penalty ref. Oh, it's not. I just called Bobby Firmino, Robert Firmino. Well, I guess it's Roberto Firmino. So I wasn't that far off. But I'm keeping an eye on the ratings. Oh, we haven't got our, um, our match stats up. There we go. So we move that over here. Make it a bit thinner. There we are. But most stars on the ball has a shot. We could have missed it. We were so focused on getting the match stats up. We could have missed it. But we're going to give it another five minutes. And then we're going to think about making some changes to the team. Keep everybody fresh. But Trent to Mo Salah. He's been involved a lot today. Keeping the ball. Oh, he does give the ball away though. I've jinxed it, boys. I've jinxed it. Hazard on the ball. He's got a lot of space. It's in. It's a goal. Oh, I did not expect that. I, th I thought Arsenal had that covered. It's because I jinxed it saying that we're keeping the ball. But Morata plays in Hazard. He beats Van Dijk. Mor oh. I thought Varane had him. Clearly not. But it's time to make some tactic changes. So, Bobby Firmino's on 6.3. We're going to bring him off for Danny Sturridge. We're going to get Sturridge up front. He's best in his advanced forward. We'll let, we'll let him play advanced forward. You do you. So, Fabinho's having a good game, though. But he's on 73%. I don't want to fix what's not broken. But we'll bring on Shakiri on the on the left-hand side as a winger. 
So we'll, we'll carry on doing that. We'll confirm the changes. But Chelsea, do you have a free kick? Just before I've made my changes, is that going to make a difference? David Luiz finds Christiansen. Chelsea are on the attack now. Oh, no, they're playing it backwards. It's the camera angles. It's throwing me off. Alonso on the left-hand side. We're going to try and close him down. Whips it in. Varane clears as far as Kante. And he skies it over the bar. And we've made our changes. I'm going to shout out uh, a get creative again. Because Chelsea have played better second half. They've come back into it. They've grabbed their goal. But Salah does intercept the ball. Can we make a move here? Oh, he's giving the ball away again. And it is Chelsea still on the ball. They've had no clear-cut chances. Morata no, gets it to Alonso. Oh, they've scored again. Morata on the ball. He scored his 100th goal of his career. And we are 2-1 down against Chelsea, who have certainly turned it on in the second half. Trent won the ball, but Alonso picked it back up. It was a lovely ball, and Van Dijk just didn't get there in time. And Morata got the goal. We, I'm going to go attacking. We're going to throw people forward. 74 minutes in. We're going to make some changes. We're going to move Fabinho up to attacking mid. Who's the best attacking mid we got in the team? Mm, nobody. So maybe we'll play... Advanced playmaker. Who's the best advanced playmaker we got on the team? Nobody. No one could play attack in mid. Mm, I should have signed an attack in mid in the summer. But we're going to play attack in mid. We're going to move Naby Keita up there. And we're going to make... We're going to bring on James Milner. We're going to bring on Milner. I have to look to the side to find the confirm button. I'm going to say, demand more. Shakiri whips one into Varane. Oh, that could have been a debut goal for the Frenchman. But we've made all our subs. We've made tactical changes. But it looks like Chelsea's second half performance is going to be enough to get them the three points. We've had 17 shots. Four on target. Seven off chance. We've had three clear-cut chances. Arguably, we have been the better team on paper. But they just turned on the style in the second half. And it does look like we are going to pick up a defeat in the first game of Football Manager 2019. And Esturridge has something to say about it. He's offside. He is, does not have anything to say about it whatsoever. And there is the final whistle. And we do go down 2-1 to Chelsea. They scored two goals in 10 minutes. 55 minutes and 65 minutes. All the stats show that we were the better team. Bar the amount of goals that went in. I'm going to give an aggressive far from pleased from that result. And they do react positively. So first game of the season down. And we do pick up a 2-1 defeat against Chelsea. It was away from home. So it's not the end of the world. So we are, Van Dijk is five appearances away from triggering a £1 million release calls, which is fair enough. Varane makes his Liverpool debut. Could have scored from a corner. Anything else? So Liverpool manager slams team. I've only been in charge with one proper game, and I've slammed the team already. And the Brazil boss is scouting the players. So we do go down 1-0 to Chelsea and look at the league table. Only one game played, though we are in 16th place. So we've got to turn it around against Wolves. Who, did they win their first game? They haven't played yet. So I will see you back for the first home game of the save against Wolves. We have arrived for the Wolves game in the Premier League. And we have two pieces of information. The first is that Shakiri is going to be out for three weeks. If I can find the injuries. Where am I looking? Medical centre. Current injuries, there we go. So Shakiri, he's out with a pulled hamstring. It's going to be out between six days and two weeks. So he's not going to be fit for the matchday match day squad against Wolves. But even bigger news, my friends. We have made a transfer out. And it's Joel Matip for Real Madrid. He's gone for 25 mil for the potential to be 31.5 mil. So we've made back some of the money that we paid for Rafael Varane. 
and hopefully we'll maybe do some business in January, depending on where we need to strengthen. But just to show you the outs, I didn't show you the outs last time. Markovic went to Crystal Palace for 5 mil, Origi went to Marseille for 10 mil, and Brewster's gone out on loan to get some vital first team experience. But the tactics for the Wolves game is pretty much unchanged. The lineup is exactly the same as we had up against Chelsea, with the only change being that Lalana's made the bench, except for Shakiri. So we've got a second chance, guys, to get a win today against Wolves. We've been told they're going to play very defensive, so we're going to keep it on control for now. But we can always mix it up if need be. Do it for the fans! And, and nobody listens. But I'm going to tell them I have faith in them. And only Jordan Henderson is listening to the I have faith team talk. Or maybe the team talk's been patched. Maybe it's not as good as it was before. But we're going to get the game underway. Oh, I can't see the Wolves formation. I want to see that as well. So I want to see Wolves formation. There we go. So we'll move that. So there we go. Keep it the same as last year. But Mane outside the box has a shot. It is saved by Rui Patricio. So they got five at the back. Two defensive midfielders. A winger and a striker. They are playing very defensive. But we're going to see how we do in the first sort of 20 minutes or so. See if we need to maybe sort of go more attacking. If need be. But Trent with a sly tackle. Get in there, Trent. So we are the favourites. So the Wolves could be a bit of a surprise package. They've got some good players in their team. Moutinho, Neves, Patricio. A former Liverpool player in there. Connor Cody used to play for Liverpool. But I'm going to shout out uh, and encourage. But can we get a goal on the scoreboard? Mane on the ball. Keeps going. Has a shot from distance. Mane, what are you doing shooting from there? You're a winger. You're meant to be on the wing. Crossing it in. But Henderson on the ball. Finds Mo Salah. Can he work his magic? Finds Keita with some space. Back to Fabinho. No one's even trying to pressure Fabinho. So it might be worth moving him, well, moving his position up to attack in midfield. But Henderson finds Trent. Can he cross it in? He can. Whips it in for Bobby Firmino. Doesn't get that far, but he does get the shot. And it is 1-0 to Liverpool. Bobby Firmino gets the goal and makes up for his poor performance against Chelsea in the first game. Oh, I'm like inside breathing. But Trent crosses it in. He does miss the header. Comes off Martinho, and Bobby Firmino gets the next touch, and it's a very important one, and he does make it 1-0 to Liverpool. Naby kicked is getting a bit complacent. We need to sort of shout out or concentrate. Oh, now they're overwhelmed. I didn't want to overwhelm you, boys. Just, you know, keep your heads down. We're going to give it to the half-time. And we do go 1-0 up. I like how it gives you the feedback, though, on the team talks. Because you used to do before, and you're like, oh, I hope it works. I hope it does something. I hope someone's impressed. But now we can actually see what that effect is. So we're going to tell them to don't get complacent. And we're going to start the second half. Hopefully carry on the work we did in the first half. And get a result at home against Wolves. Martinho does put in the challenge against Mane. He's going to be under pressure as he did make the mistake. Right, the boys have calmed down now. They've calmed down a bit. But Robertson finds Mane. Keita's outside the box. Oh, that would have been a nice goal for Naby Keita. We're going to keep an eye on the on the tactics. Fabinho's had another good game in that ball with a midfielder role. But he's going to find Robertson. Whips it in. But Rui Patricio catches it. And it's been all Liverpool. Wolves have only had one shot all game. We've had all the possession. But then we were in this situation against Chelsea. We were the better team in the first half. They came back and scored two goals. But we're building the play up. Van Dijk. Finds Keita. Might look to make some subs after this maybe. But Henderson. Sadio Mane's in the box. Has a shot. That was close from him. But we are going to make some changes. 
6.3 for Mane. Yeah, we're going to bring him off. We're going to bring on... I think Lallana is probably going to be the best shout on the left-hand side there. Anybody else? 7.3. Henderson's an advanced playmaker. We'll bring on... Can Wijnaldum play there? Or we'll put Milner there. And swap them two round. There we go. See, I like how smooth things are. It's all just sort of, you know, smooth. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. That's going to be all the changes we're going to make. So we'll make a double switch on the hour mark. And Trent with a free kick. Whips it in. Oh, did you see the curve? Because that is a new thing. There's no curves in Football Manager 2019. But we are 1-0 up. I'm just going to shout out another encourage. Why are they frustrated? I'm encouraging them. Come on, boys. But we are going to go. We've got four minutes to hang on. We've had 22 shots, 11 on target. But we've only scored the one goal. But that's okay. Unless they score an equaliser from this corner. Matinho whips one in. And that is the final whistle. We do get the win against Wolves. It was 1-0... But I think we did well on the performance. I'm going to... Well, see, they said I, they was disappointing. So I, And they had a lot of good results. I'm going to say... That was a bit of a let-off. Nah, that, the, most of them were happy with it. That's fine. Most of them were right with it. So we do get the win over Wolves. Lallana's out for two days. That's not the end of the world. And Robertson on that left-hand side is shining. In that complete wing back row. I think it's complete wing back, is it? No, he's just a regular wing back. It's Trent that's the, the complete wing back. So he is shining in that role there. So with that win against Wolves, we are now in ninth position in the league. One win, one defeat. And I think next time we'll probably come back for a Champions League game of sorts. So I think we've got the draw to come next, though. So there's gonna be a draw at some point for the Champions League. And we'll do the draw right now here we go my friends we have reached the champions league group stages for the year we are in pot three so we have the potential of facing two giants in our group so we're going to draw the first and second seeds as we're going to know the lay of the land see where we are so the potential groups we could have we could have group a with barcelona and dortmund we can't be in group b oh that's a tasty group though Real Madrid and Man United because we can't face any English teams. So we can't be in Group B. We can't be in Group C, Man City and Napoli. And we can't be in Group D with Atletico or Tottenham. E, Moscow and Porto, though that'll be a good group if we want to get out of there. F, we've got PSG and Shakhtar. G, Bayern and Dinamo Kiev. Or Group H, Juventus and Benfica. So we'd rather avoid A if we can. E's probably the best. We're going to go automatic. I'm going to do 3, 2, 1, and then press the button. So, 3, 2, 1, Roma. Oof. So, I, I should remember, we're not going to do automatic. So, we can't be in Group B, we can't be in Group C, we can't be in Group D. So, this is the group we want to be in. 3, 2, 1, get in there. Moscow and Porto. Who's going to be the third or the fourth team in our group? So... We could have Club Bruges, Galatasaray, Inter Milan I'd rather not play, or Malmo. So anybody but Inter. Three, two, one. Club Bruges it is. So the Champions League group stage has been done. We have Porto, Club Bruges and Moscow. A relatively straightforward group, may I say. So for next time... We're going to come back for... Well, we don't know yet because the Champions League fixtures haven't been drawn yet. Of course they haven't been drawn. Oh, by the way, we lost... Uh, well, we lost. We drew 0-0 against Cardiff. It was the most boring game of football you could ever watch in your life. But we're going to come back. We'll, we'll, we'll continue on one more, one more day. Just so that the fixtures do get populated. Do we have some fixtures? Oh, Paul, Paul's going to be the, the sort of biggest team we could go up against but i put up advert up for a coach so we'll uh we'll do that later do we have the schedule now we do so we're gonna come back for club bruges and burnley so in between 
we're going to have all these games. We have Man City, the Premier League, which after drawing nil nil against Cardiff, I'm not that confident about. Southampton away from home, Porto away from home, Leicester at home, Yeovil and Brighton. So we're going to have a few. Because like I, said, I want to try and get through the season within two weeks. So we are going to have to jump around a bit. So we're probably going to do five games off camera or five to six games off camera and then come back for as much as we can. So we're going to come back next time for Club Bruges and Burnley in the Premier League. Leave a like if you enjoy, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2019 content. We'll be uploading the bait to save every day up until we get to next week. Well, maybe not the weekend, so maybe Monday to Friday. So every weekday until next Friday as we'll start the proper save once the Football Manager 19 proper game comes out. So we're going to have two weeks of the beta. So we're going to have this week and next week. And then we're going to crack full steam ahead with our save for the year. So Monday to Friday, 6pm GMT. And I will see you next time for Club Bruges and the Burnley. Thank you very much for watching.